Welcome to another episode of Locker Room Raw. We got a good one for y'all today. Uh, now, this is not a, such a juicy topic, but it's relevant because it might sink the defending Super Bowl champion season. We got Mike. Of course, we got Flash. We're going to talk about the Chris Jones situation. We want to get these guys input, see what side of the fence they're on. If you guys don't know the situation, well, first of all, where you been? But second of all, the situation is this. Uh, he's at the last year of his four-year $80 million contract, but that's not enough money. The best guys are getting paid $25, 30000000 million, and he wants a piece of that pie. So but kick it to Mike, get his opinion, see what he thinks, kick it to Flash, and then I'll give you guys uh, my two cents. So what's up, Mike? What you got? Well, I mean, uh, Arnold got, uh, what, $95 million for three years? And, yes, sir. Uh, he didn't even play last season, so... Uh, I mean, even though he already signed a contract, I mean, he's the best. I mean, he's uh, first in sacks mm -hmm. and uh, first in uh, what hurried. Uh, Let me see. He's the best in this position statistically. Quarterback, quarterback hits 29, quarterback hurries first, tackles for loss 17 for second. I mean, he's right up there. So, I mean, it sounds outrageous for somebody who's already under contract to ask for more money, but he deserves it. I mean, we're in an era where all these top players are being underpaid, and uh, same thing with uh, Jonathan Taylor. I mean, he's the best guy out there, but they want to, they don't want to pay him, but they want to trade him for, for what he's worth. So, even though they're not trading him right now, this a similar issue where he's not he doesn't feel he's getting paid what he's what he's deserved so I don't know what do you think flash 21.7 points um, it means the defense is not great so again he's part of a, uh, a unit that he's gonna shine I mean you've got Nick Bosa just got 30 uh, 34 million per year for five years uh, Bobby Wagner you got Aaron Donald you've got Chase Young you've got Nick Bosa you got the two Watts all of a sudden, these defensive linemen, defensive ends, they're, they're wanting big, big money. Now, he's best to do his job, keep his head down, and you'll get rewarded if you become like a, a free agent. But what else does he do? I mean, he's, he's the number one, right? He's the number one guy right now. Who he for? Actually... Who for? Who's he the number one? Uh, defense from Kansas. Kansas, have to, uh, Kansas City Chiefs have to score 35 points a game to win a game. So he's, he's the best of a bad bunch. That's a fact, it, it, and, and I think that's part of his leverage. So his leverage is, well, we're average to below average with me. Without me, we're one of the worst in the league. But so salary, I salary means that if I can free up 100 million, then instead of giving it to one person, I might be able to go and get three people on 30 million like, over the course of. So that brings up the next thing I was going to say. Do you guys think that they should trade him or pay yeah, him? Yeah, trade, uh, trade him, because obviously if he was going to keep him, um, he's got to play. He's got to be there and play, and obviously then he might even get more than he wants at this moment in time because he has an outstanding season. But for the attitude of, now he's not going to play because he's not being paid. Basically, he's under contract, by the way. He signed that contract. He was happy with that contract, but now he's got all greedy. Like, well, what are you earning? What are you earning? What are you earning? Oh, I should be on that. Why should you be on that when he actually put his signature on his contract for X amount for four years? Well, and, and before, four years. before the haters start talking uh, shit about Flash, he was a professional player who had to sign contracts. No one's going to talk shit. Had to do these they, things. They, 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 should, they don't know you, but no, yeah, no, but listen, that, that, it's fact that you are only going to sign for a contract you're happy with. He did four years. He's only done three. He's got one more to do. Now, if the Chiefs want to let him go for free agency and free up uh, the salary cap. No problem whatsoever. But listen, the Chiefs have never been known to be having a great D anyway. So get rid of him then if he ain't going to play and he doesn't want to honour his contract and then get maybe two or three in and bring it back through. So before you answer, Mike, I want to give you some context. The Chiefs literally just went through this last year. The reason they, they, they traded Tyreek Hill is not because they wanted to. No. He wanted more money ex for the exact exactly. same reason Chris Jones is doing it. So they traded him because they knew that this was going to happen. So if they trade Chris Jones, they could get a lot in return. So what do you think? Trade him or pay him? Uh, they're already shorthanded, though. Uh, well, they, Super Bowl champions are not that short, are they? Well, uh, what's the name? Got suspended for domestic violence, six games. Uh, Frank uh, Clark. Frank Clark, and uh, and they they recently got rid of this other guy, defensive end that they didn't want to pay. Dunlap. Yeah. So I mean, they're, they're somewhat shorthanded. The guy is a stud. I mean, he's killing it. So I mean. I don't know. It's hard. I mean, it depends on what the team really needs. I mean, and he's he's right in there, the line of defense for them. So I mean, I don't know. I would I would say pay him. Why okay. is he not playing though? 
because he doesn't he wants more money oh okay okay is he professional did he sign his contract is he honoring his contract his contract says i will pay I will play for my pay. And he clearly stated that he wants to retire a chief. So he loves the team. He wants to be there. And then... Well, then play then. He play. Probably, You're under contract. Play. You signed it. He probably will. He probably will. I he's mean, not, though, tonight. Well, he's definitely not playing. They said he's going to be in the booth supporting his team uh, from a distance. I'm just going to give my opinion to kind of wrap up this episode. I actually agree with both of these guys. They both made really good points. Uh, and usually I would take Flash's side in this argument. But because it's NFL specific, I I'm going to take Chris Jones aside because NFL players don't usually get paid. I'm not going to say what they're worth, but their contracts are not fully guaranteed like other sports. Um, on top of the fact that playing football is, is a risk to your health not just in the short term, but in the long term. We saw what happened to DeMar Hamlin last year. So any football player trying to get as much money as possible, I'm always gonna be for that. Make sure you guys check out our next episode and tune in to, well, not even tune in, log in to LockerRoomRaw.com for more sports news and entertainment. See you guys next time.